Well, Girl Power is definitely a big part of a program called the Real World Design Challenge, where students are asked to solve some of the nation's toughest energy and environmental challenges. Keith Smith reports. So what do we have now is 80. They are trading textbooks at Francis Tuttle Technology no Center for a technical task. Have 105 kilometers per hour. That just might fly. The high school students have been asked to start up the nation's innovation engine, redesign an airplane, and make it more fuel efficient. Team leader Sean Stevens helped get the project off the ground for the Real World Design Challenge. We've had about six months to redesign this airplane, research it, come up with all the information, physics concepts, aeronautical concepts, applied mathematics. The students have taken top honors in the state, but are still hoping for a passing grade. Today, they're being evaluated by engineering professionals. In a very small amount of time, they learn what our aerospace engineers might take a couple of years to learn. Judge Ron Delahousse couldn't be more impressed. Uh, they are working on a real world problem that people at Boeing or Cessna uh, or the lucky people are doing today. Uh, to believe that this came from high school students is just amazing. Ken Sperry works as an operations manager for Boeing and judging has him talking about the hiring process. So we also started a little recruiting today. So. So we're also looking out for our own interests. And this problem-solving exercise is such a great opportunity to showcase some of the best and brightest that Oklahoma has. Lieutenant Governor Jerry Askin says they're learning real tools for the real world. We believe that this kind of competition helps stimulate the enthusiasm that students already have for learning and helps put it in a practical sense so that they can see the future of aerospace aviation employment and what that means to the state of Oklahoma. They not only learned about aircraft, but they learned how to do research, they learned how to seek out experts, they learned how to work with each other, they learned how to work as a team. It's different than just being in a math class or a physics class when you actually have to use these things to build something tangible. Engineers in the making, doing on-the-job training, taking education to new heights.